The Adagio 280 Bind and Fly Basic from E-Flight came very nicely packed. The uh, decorative box we see here was inside a very strong outer brown box. And then the plane is nicely packed inside of foam. They advertise that it has reinforced carbon fiber spars. And you can see two of them right here going along. There's also a uh, carbon fiber spar wing rod and then holder and then the wing rod itself so that for the small size wings there's an awful lot of beef there to keep them nice and strong. As we can see the uh, tape and foam have completely secured the plane in place. I will cut it free and remove the parts now and get on with this review. As could be seen in the still pictures that preceded this second video clip, there are not very many parts. We have the two wing halves. We have the fuselage with uh, tail and rudder, vertical stab and rudder. We have the horizontal stab with elevator that was packaged in a bag, is safely wrapped in foam and with cardboard to help keep it protected. There's a few screws and some Velcro, some Velcro and a binding um, plug. The fuselage has the receiver with small plugs already installed and the two servos for controlling the tail. The wings have the aileron and flap servos already installed. It took me just a couple of moments to push the uh, aileron and flap wires into the fuselage and to string the wing onto the wing rod which has a wider center section. The motor speed controller were both pre-installed as was the propeller and spinner. I will now add the second wing, unwrap the tail, and install it. Assembly has been very easy. The wing rod has a wider section that's here in the center of the fuselage. It helps you know where it should be. I simply worked the wing rod into both wing halves before trying to do final assembly as it seemed a little bit overly tight. By working in and out a couple of times, it was much easier to assemble here. I put the wing rod into the right wing, started sliding it in. As it got close, I put in the wire for the flap, for the aileron and the flaps right here, and then I repeated the process with the left wing. Then I glued the tail section on. The tail was all pre-assembled as one piece, including the plastic uh, wheel mount and wheel, and I simply put medium CA on both the uh, horizontal stabilizer and the uh, bottom of the fuselage where it connects. Put the two together and held them in place for a minute. The only step I have left is to uh, adjust the clevis so that it mounts with the uh, control rod on the servo in the center position. And that's a little bit of adjustment. Otherwise, the Adagio has gone together. Very quick assembly, very easy assembly. I'm going to save the box because if I take it apart, I can at least put the wings in the box to have them protected. I will never be removing the tail because it's glued in place, so it will never go back in the box. But I save the box as it's relatively small and very protective of the thin wings. For now, for flying this flying season, I will be keeping the plane together fully as it will transport in my car without any problem assembled.